All right, my friends, we're going to graph a hyperbola. Um, the um, standard form of a hyperbola is written here, and we're going to graph this specific hyperbola up uh, written here. And so if you look at the, um, the form of the, the standard form, um, you can see that this hyperbola is going to be, well, centered around the um, coordinates h, k. And so you can kind of see from above, by comparing these two, that h, k... Um, is going to be equal to um, minus 5 because this is supposed to be x minus h and then the y coordinate is going to be 2. And so what we want to do is go uh, over uh, uh, x equals negative 5 um, and up 2. So this guy's going to be centered around that point. That's your center point. Then the next important thing to look at are, um, are your values of a and b here. So here you can tell that the um, a is going to be 3 um, and B is going to be 4. Uh, and so what you do from here is this value of A, what you do is it, it kind of tells you the half width of a little box that you could draw around this, um, this center point. And so you can see that A is going to then be equal to 3. And so what you do is you go over 3 point, three units this way and this way. And your... Um, B value of B is 4. So what that means is you go up 4 units this way and this way. And what that does is it defines a little box here. That's going that we're going to use to help kind of guide how we plot this um, plot this hyperbola. Now, using the diagonals of this box, you can construct what are called the asymptotes of the hyperbola. And so they're, if you just kind of connect the lines and draw the diagonals of the box, it's going to look like this. And so what's going to happen then is your hyperbola is going to asympt uh, asymptotically approach these diagonals. And so your hyperbola is going to look like this. So one other thing we can add to the picture. So here's the hyperbola, plot of the hyperbola. Uh, something we can add to the, the picture are where the focal points are. And so to get those guys, you just um, use the relationship a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And what you find, well, I picked some friendly numbers here. So we have a, a 3, 4, well, c is then going to be 5. Um, right, because you basically have uh, 9 plus 16 equals c squared. Um, so c uh, is going to be square root of um, 25, which is going to be 5. And so what that means is the focal point is going to be, if you, if you count 5 units over, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here's going to be one focal point. Um, and then the other one is going to be 5 units this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be here. Um, so those are the two focal points of that hyperbola.